Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe where we're going to be finishing up looking at the brand new weapons this week by checking out the latest addition to our secondary weapons, the Zakti. Like the Gwandawa took a look at a few days ago, you can find this in the Tenno Lab in the dojo, it's really not that expensive to build. I had quite a few people saying it required the Axe Stiletto to build it and that didn't really make sense in the first place but that's really not even the case. The most expensive resource you're going to need is 6,500 alloy plate, which, let's be honest, is not a particularly hard thing to get hold of. So once you do have it built, what do you get? Well, you get a Mastery 6 single secondary pistol with 30 damage split fairly evenly between impact and puncture, and no slash whatsoever. The supporting stats, however, show pretty much where the weapon is going to shine. 2% critical chance and 150% crit damage multiplier. It's not going to be anywhere near enough for you to make a crit build work, let's be honest. However, a 20% status chance is going to allow you to get a pretty good status build on here. The rest of the supporting stats are pretty nice. Super speedy reload of just 0.8 seconds. Decent fire rate of 5 rounds per second. Means that actually it feels very nice to use. However, it does have some notable downsides still. For a dark weapon, it's actually got some pretty crazy high recoil for some reason. And then the reason for that 0.8 second reload is because it only has three rounds in the magazine. So you're going to be reloading pretty regularly. But the weapon itself is more than just these raw stats. It's also got an inbuilt mechanic that's going to cause the darts to stick to whatever surface they hit. And then after a few seconds, they're going to explode into a gas cloud procking whatever elementals you have on the weapon with the same status chance that the weapon has and dealing 80 gas damage. This is an addition to the physical damage the dart does, meaning if you stick the dart to an enemy you're effectively going to be doing 110 damage per shot plus have a very high chance of procking status. This becomes very important a bit, late, a bit later down the line. Now because the elemental is gas, it means you have a chance of procking three different elementals like viral radiation and gas for example, making it the ideal weapon to work with condition overload on your melee weapon. The explosion of the dart will also open, them up, uh, open up enemies for finishers. Personally I found the finisher time to be too short to regularly take advantage of, but it's still something to remember in case you can work with it, so something like a covertly damaged dagger is going to be very useful with this thing. In terms of the way I personally went about building it, I went with a status build, added three former, and that brings the weapon to three Vs and two dash polarities. We then have Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, I've got two dual stat elementals and uh, status mods, and then I've got elemental mods, two 90% elemental mods to be uh, exact, and then the final slot is another dual stat mod, or another 90% elemental, for Fulmination. The mod from the Ambulus Invent that increases the explosion range of the explosion of the dart. I found this build to be so effective. Uh, with Fulmination, I found it made such a difference that I, I wanted it on there all the time. But obviously there are options available if you don't have the mod or don't find it as effective as I did. It works really well, honestly, as a weapon on its own, the Zacti. But also as a weapon to be able to work, like I said, insanely well with Condition Overload. If you're going to go for a corrosive build, I would try and keep it to strictly corrosive and gas. Putting another element on there is going to dilute your procs way too much, to the extent where the armor stripping of corrosive is going to be very, very weak. So sacrificing a bit more damage or a bit of status chance for focusing your procs more is something I definitely think is worth doing and works out to be more effective than going for a third elemental combo with its proc. So, do I like the Zacti at all? Well, actually, I do like it quite a bit. The weapon itself is fun to use. Kneeling an enemy with a dart, leaving them for the dart to explode in their face and kill them, it's so satisfying. It's satisfying as hell and something I really enjoy doing. As a weapon on its own, it does honestly fall off against armoured targets and also against the infested because a lot of the toxin resistances that the infested has, especially if you start getting into salty levels, although squishy stuff like corpus do tend to die very quickly still. But where the true strength of the Zacti lies, in my opinion, is in a similar place to where the Scourge is that I talked about a few weeks ago, and that is as a weapon to buff your melee. Now I know it sounds kind of weird, but the power of Condition Overload is not something to sniff at. Only two procs from any source, and Condition Overload is already multiplying your melee damage by 256%. Three procs is going to multiply it by 410%. So as you can see, that mod on its own can be a huge addition to your melee damage. 
And that's where the Zacti comes in. You can actually put three elemental procs on the weapon, plus the two physical procs from actually landing the dart on the target. And then if you combine that with Taxon and his Artax, you can really use it to severely buff the damage from whatever a melee you actually chose to use. And that affects even quick melee. But where you can really put it to use is with the new dual wielding mechanics that got brought into the game recently. Using the Zacti to proc a whole bunch of status procs and then throwing the glaive to cut them down actually takes the weapon further than the weapon on its own. While the Zacti may have fallen off in the terms of its own damage, using it as a buffer for your own thrown weapons or whatever weapon, it could be a Maiming Strike Atarax or something like that, actually takes it way further than you would have thought. And I love that, true synergy between secondary weapon and your melee weapon. It takes synergy in Warframe to the next level. And while I know we've had weapons that have synergized well like this for a while, Pox, Torrid, that sort of thing, introducing more and more that do something similar and give us options is a really cool thing and something I really hope continues. But the Zacti itself is a solid weapon in its own right, but really pushes boundaries when combined with condition overload melee weapons. It's definitely worth checking out and putting the former onto. I've had such a lot of fun with it since it came out. So I hope you enjoy my look at the Zacti. I'll be starting to go through older weapons starting in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.